It's another episode of round two of 64 bourbons under $100. This is the under $25 category. This is bourbon A. I know we say perfumey sometimes. I think this is more cologne-y. There's a floral. I wouldn't mind smelling note. like this. I know, it smells great. It's cutting open some type of fruit. I don't know. Yeah, it's got these Cantaloupe, maybe. spicy, fruity, floral notes. I think that, again, like when you're thinking about perfumes, that's a lot of the stuff that they layer in there. It's got a je ne sais quoi. <laughs> okay. You don't speak French. Delightful. Yeah, solid. Very pleasant. Mm -hmm. Not a long finish, but. Not a long finish. What's there is nice. There's a little bit of uh, black pepper. Mm. And a little bit of like charred oak, yes. which again, expected, but it leaves a little bit of that bitter, almost burnt taste on the very end of the finish. Is it that or is it tobacco? I don't know, I could go either way. I'll, I'll let it go this time. A little hmm. building heat on that second sip. It's good though, I like it. Bourbon B. More orangey, peachy. More citrus on this one, the yeah. perfume. Yeah, for sure. Peaches and oranges, big old fruit basket. Yep. A little more of the grains. It's kind of corn syrup and almost reminds me of cornflakes. But a better mouth. Um, eh, is it? I don't know. I find it to go a little hot and dry towards the finish. Like I also think that it, while it might have a longer finish, I feel like it evaporates quickly off the tongue and it kind of leaves you a little dry. I don't know. I feel like it's got a little more personality, a little more to offer there, a little more pow. Well, I think it has higher proof. In the beginning. Yeah. And I think it's a longer finish. Hmm. I'm not so much getting the, the dry quality, but we well, maybe go back I need to, to come back to it. Yeah, these yeah. are very well matched. Yeah, this is a good matchup. Even though the proof, I don't know if the proof is comparable. I think it's a good matchup. A has like I think darker, a little bit more syrupy flavors, which I think is really nice. And then B has that proof. This is gonna get really hard <laughs> as we go into. Oh, this is yeah. only round two. My heart says A. Hmm. I think I'm liking the uh, slight more earthiness of. Of B. B. Let me go back to A one more time. Well, we can be split. We'll just have our resident tiebreaker weigh in at the end. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. I'm going B. I'm going A. <laughs> Advancing for Sarah is OGD Bonded. Mm -hmm. And advancing for me, B is Jim Beam Single Barrel. Okay. This makes sense to me why this was a house divided. 108 versus 100 proof. Yeah. But both from the James B. Bean family. Correct, different mash bills. Different mash bills. But... A little higher rye on yours, but lower proof. Yeah, I don't know, maybe I liked that. Hmm. Mm. I think these were evenly matched though, and I think that had yeah. a lot to do with being same distillery. Yeah. Before we go any further, we wanna pause and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get this new t-shirt that I'm wearing, the long sleeve that Sarah's wearing. All of the official Glen Cairns that we're drinking from are water glasses, rocks glasses, copitas. We also have bottle cut candles, a new coin, and more that's always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash night and join our community for as little as one buck a month. That is where we release our exclusive barrel picks, the opportunity to get discounts on that merch or potentially participate in a barrel pick after the episode exclusives and more. On with the show. These are both blind to us. All we know is that this is bourbon A. Bubble gum. Get more of like a cinnamon gum, yeah? Strawberry. It's Strawberry. Okay. What is going on over there? Yeah. Sure, strawberry cinnamon gum. Interesting. It's different. Okay. I get a little bit palette of that on the, on the palate. Yeah. There is a strawberry flavor mm -hmm. with like a little bit of cinnamon, but more of like a strawberry jam, not fresh strawberries. Ah, uh, my mind is going more towards like a uh, an icy okay. strawberry. Strawberry. Icy, you know, sugary, mm. arti artificial, not in, in a super well, artificial bad way, but That's you know. what I mean by jam. Jam is basically just sugar. Yeah, fruit. I mean, that's true. A spice strawberry tea or something. I don't yeah, know. yeah, I get a little bit of tea note in there. It's um, lower proof. I don't feel like it's over 100 at all. This would make a nice cocktail, yeah, I think, uh -huh. for the spring or summer. It's almost got, yeah, it's, it's already got the syrup in it. It, it would lend sort of itself. Feels like. Yeah, it would lend itself well. All right. How about you, B? More nutty. Yeah, I knew he was going to say it. I was just going to say it first. Peanut chocolate. Woodsy, a little earthy. Yeah, like outdoorsy tree bark. It's nice. It is. I mean, it's very familiar. Oh, this one also tastes a little proof. It does. And finish is short. Okay, watered down peanut butter. Yeah, the peanut butter chocolate stays around. It, it kind of has like a Reese's um, 
-hmm. like the little cups. Mm -hmm. the, the peanut to chocolate ratio has to be right. Gotcha. Um, the, the tiny cups, it has that kind of note on the finish, but that's really all that's there. That's all that I'm getting. I like Reese's cups as much as the next person, but yeah. is that enough, you know? <laughs> For Chad, it's enough. If they're a match made in <laughs> hey. heaven, they might as well go ahead and get married. Come on. It's got a little building heat on that second sip. I, I, I don't think it's high proof at all, but a little bit, a little bit on the tongue. A little bit. Let's go back to A. Yeah, still strawberry jam. Yeah. It's a little cupcake-ish. Yeah, not real strawberry flavor now. That's what we said before, you know, your jam analogy. It's getting a little bit more, I don't know. Processed. I really liked it the first time around, but it's feeling more processed strawberry to me now. You more on that uh, icy kick now? Mm-hmm. I see where you're, where you're coming from. I see where you're coming from? I see where you're coming from. Ah, ah. One, two, three. Ah, 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 ah. three. Still nutty, still peanut buttery. B has it on the mouthfeel. No. They're both a little one note. They ish are. Um, it's just what one note are we liking better right now? Well, I think B has a longer finish. I like the proof. There's a little bit of spice on B. I can at least say that. There's a little bit of spice and heat, and I, I do like that. I do think it's like the one note peanut butter chocolate. Not a bad note. I think I'm liking the one note of the sort of chocolate peanut butter more than the one note of the strawberry icy. <laughs> yeah, I hate to be predictable, but right. it's gonna be it's gonna be B. It's gonna be B. So what we have chosen is Bullet. Bullet. Against Buffalo Trace. Wow. <laughs> ah. Didn't see that one coming. What? When, since when does Buffalo Trace ever taste like uh, a cherry, cherry icy or icy. strawberry icy? Strawberry icy. Well, the berry I get. That's like kind of a Buffalo Trace signature thing. But the, the cherry. But yeah. This one was so interesting. I mean, both were good. Bullet straight up. This one tasted like Beam to me. And I'm not saying I picked it because I thought that. I don't yeah. care who wins. But that, Beam or Heaven Hill. That really threw me off. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. I do not think of those flavors when I taste Bullet. No. Did not expect to pick that. Um, would have picked Buffalo Trace all day, every day, if you asked just me. Just by label. Just by label. And that's why we do these things blind. That's why we do it. Wow, someone's gonna come for us in those comments, <laughs> but you know what, that's okay. It's okay, that's okay. Well, hey, them's the breaks. We'll see you next time in, the, in a new category for round two. Until then, drink more bourbon.